What's up guys, this is Lethal Merc bringing you some more Veil of Dorwinian gameplay for Third Age Divide and Conquer. Uh, last time, we went around the mountains here and went in the back door of Mordor. And I'm pretty sure Mordor is under attack from the front by Gondor. Uh, not 100% on that, but all the signs do point to it. Uh, we're starting to build some more watchtowers um, along our borders here. Uh, built one here just to keep an eye on the very eggs back here, but we're going to keep on doing that, keep moving our generals down south, uh, perhaps attack the very eggs. Uh, we'll see uh, if that will be the smart move when we get to that point, but for now, it looks like all of our generals are at the end of their movement phase, so I think we'll probably end this turn uh, pretty soon. Let's, you know what, let's run through building queues first. Always got to do that. Uh, that's, that's key to keeping your economy going, especially you look at this number down here, 107,193 gold. That's pretty great. So let's go ahead and build some standing stones just to get the culture up. That's a ballista maker there. Standing stones. Standing stones. That's going to be our mission this uh, this video. Okay, we can upgrade Kerbisag. Uh, tomb there in Saragos. That will help uh, with unit recruitment. Um, let's see. Doesn't look like we can do a... Uh, standing stones there but that's okay i think that's it so we'll go ahead and end that turn all right it looks like the leader of the clans of enidwaith is dead and celeberg in the vale of anduin is besieged as well uh we lost actually some uh some money that's okay uh it's because we just have so many uh so many troops on the field, which is all right. Uh, train some more Thorn units. <clears throat> uh, it, we have a pretty strong army in this settlement. Let's train some more cavalry. And I'd like to move uh, these guys down. Uh, it looks like I want to combine these two armies here, but it looks like we do have uh, one too many uh, unit, so we'll get that general out of there and combine them like that. And we'll have them go down to Mordor, uh, perhaps attack the Variags. Um, and then this guy can be the leader of one of these, uh, of the army, of this army, there's not multiple armies, of this army that we're going to put together here. And let's move Diraglir there, and this guy up as well, Watchtower, and uh, it looks like I just lost my audio, let me check on that. Alright, sorry about that guys, I fixed my audio, but anyways, uh, right before we ended that turn, I noticed that I have these long boats here. Uh, that we have no need for, and their upkeep is 150, so we're going to go ahead and disband the fleet. Uh, there's just not really a use for them, so no point in having them around. Uh, let's go ahead and clean up, disband that unit, as well as this one. There's just no point in paying their upkeep uh, when we're not ever going to use them. Same thing with these Thorn Guard. Uh, we can streamline our economy even more, which is always good. Uh, we can train some Thorn units there. And, you know, I would really like to attack, uh, push, for push further <laughs> into Mordor uh, today. So let's see if we can do that. Can we retrain anyone? Yeah, we can retrain some crossbowmen. Cool. And a unit of the general. Uh, the only thing about this army is that it's not this army in Saragos, not this one over here. This army in Saragos is that it's just not very melee heavy, and 
we need melee units to take out uh, the trolls and such. Uh, you can take them out with crossbowmen, but if they, if you get trolls into melee with your crossbowmen, they're they're done. They're done. The not the trolls. The crossbowmen are done. There's just nothing you can do. Let's go ahead and train some more units there. Uh, see now this army in Varfest is pretty strong. Let's see, you know what? Let's move them out. I I like this army a lot. Uh, we can perhaps we can move a yeah we'll train a unit of farmhand pikemen there and then move them over into Varfest or we can just move these spearmen over as well. Okay. Because if Gondor isn't attacking the Black Gate anymore, I feel like we would have gotten a notification if uh, if Gondor would have taken the Black Gate. Okay. Oh, let's uh, let's move this army up here that we had. Oh, I had to cut and I didn't save, so let's go ahead and combine these two guys here. Uh, this guy will go over there, and these guys all over there. Beautiful. Okay. This guy can come down here to Karis Falathrim. Uh, we can disband these vin vineyard bowmen. Train any more units. Yeah, we can train some thorn units there, as well as here. Oh, oh. there we go. Okay. And I think that's all we have for this turn, so we'll go ahead and end it. Okay, we'll move Captain Lindor back up. I did see that I forgot to move Sild, so we'll move him down. Build a watchtower. And let's move them into Varfest. Uh, Valamir, keep moving west. Build a watchtower. And it looks like Mordor is still in control of uh, the Black Gate, so we, oh, and one of the Nazgul is right there as well. So we can take out those two armies, and then uh, perhaps lay siege to the Black Gate. Gondor is now the strongest. It was us, but uh, not anymore, it appears. Uh, I think it's to the point where we can move our Elven General out. Uh, and his elven units. So let's move them. They can uh, lead the next army, the next powerful army that we're going to bring. Alright. And there was a unit of Avari Shadows and Cross... Oh, there. Crossbowmen as well. Uh, in Carverad. So let's move them over take a look. We haven't gotten to see the character model for the Elven General yet. He looks really cool. And we also have not seen these Avari Elder Pikemen in action as well, so that'll be another thing that's cool. There's so many cool things happening. Whoa. Okay, let's uh, let's move Deeraglir right here. And then we will move Vinelord Swain and Forthwind. Out. and let's start building an army let's see do we have any melee we have some privateer axemen still not a lot of melee troops unfortunately uh, we can leave them there for now I don't think we're in any danger of being attacked but anyways I think that's it for that turn you know what Let's run through building queues. We haven't done that in a while. Uh, let's see. Nothing, nothing. Looks good. Uh, we can do a Lord's Hall there. Uh, let's see. In Bursagath, uh, we'll do... No, let's do a Leather Worker. Uh, it's better to get that. Get a little bit of extra income, and uh, we'll be able to have upgraded troops in the future. Everything else does look good, so let's go ahead and end that turn. All right, get a Merchant's Guild in Curvasag. And Haywin, we can move down. Uh, this guy, uh, wait, where was he? Where'd he go? 
There he is. Perth? Yeah, Perth. Okay, we can start building an army for him. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a lower tiered army. Uh, mostly thorn men. But that's okay. Um, the thorn uh, units, once upgraded, are uh, pretty, uh, pretty solid. And let's throw some thorn guard in there. I think we add one unit in there. Okay, pretty solid uh, body of melee units, uh, along with privateer X-Men, of course. Get some crossbowmen in there. Uh, four units crossbowmen. Uh, now let's add cav. Thorn cavalry. Oh, can't add that many, unfortunately. Uh, what we can do, you know what, let's just have a purely thorn army. Beautiful. Five units of bladesmen, three units of guard, four units of crossbowmen, sorry, uh, four units of guard, I didn't see him there, and six units of cavalry. Should be a pretty strong army. Uh, we can have that be a supporting force for Vine Regent Haywin. And let's see, I think we can move to attack Mordor here. Wait, we're neutral. Oh, yeah, we did have a ceasefire with them. Um, you know what? I want to attack them. Yep, we're attacking them. Uh, looks like they have some Sauron's will. Those guys are nasty. Besides that, uh, just two mountain trolls, and that army should be easy to deal with. Uh, these guys, same thing. Uh, they just have the Black Numenorean uh, cavalry. They are dangerous. Uh, the rest of the army, though, four trolls, uh, some Uryx, nothing that should be too tough. So let's fight this battle. All right, start starting the deployment. Uh, it looks, uh, you know what? I'll bet you they're going to be way up there. So let's move our units up onto this ridge here. Uh, we do have some cavalry to manage, uh, some mounted crossbowmen as well. Uh, we can send them off to the side. We have some Abari Narahim uh, bowmen. They have some pretty long bows for uh, for being cavalry or uh, archer cavalry. Jeez, I can't talk today. Okay, uh, put our catapult up here. Put them on the flank, actually. Uh, maybe get them up in an elevated position to fire down on the enemy. Uh, we can move our Thorn Guard into the center. And then our uh, Men at Arms, as well as our Elves on the flanks. This isn't the prettiest line, but it will have to do. Hold that unit in reserve and our crossbowmen and uh, Avari shadows back there uh, have our high paladins back here with our cav and what is this last unit it looks like oh thorn blazeman okay uh, we'll have them on the flank don't really want them in shield wall formation don't know why they were and i think we're good to start the battle uh you know what let's take the catapult off of fire at will for now and just as I suspected, they are up on this ridge here. So, let's move our melee units into this little uh, ridge area right here. Uh, we can have our thorn guard there. Uh, let's put our men at arms up on this ridge up here on the flank. Have our Avari units in reserve back here. and can have our uh, archer units come in back there. Uh, everyone, I want to have them run. And then our mounted crossbowmen. Actually, I'm going to have our mounted crossbowmen and our Avari uh, horse archers come up here. Hold our Thorn Bladesman in reserve. High Paladins there as well. 
and then have the cavalry back in reserve to protect the flank. Looks like the Ura Cowbirds are already coming in. And our Avari guys and our crossbowmen are firing at those halberds. Uh, let's move our men at arms uh, into position there. We This area I thought was going to be impassable, but it is not. Uh, let's have our crossbows target those mountain trolls. And not anymore, though. Okay. Once again, don't like pause playing, but when you're losing guys like crazy... Okay, we need to have them all not be in skirmish mode and also not fire at will. I need my horse archers to come up here to fire down on the enemy from there. And we can have our men at arms on the flank. Once again, like I said, I don't like to pause play. It looks like our archer cav is going to be a little vulnerable. Uh, I don't know if they are moving. Oh, nope, they're not moving these guys up. So let's put them over here. It looks like our archers are taking some fire. I don't want our Avari guys to be in skirmish mode. Have them target the Uruk archers. Uh, we are losing some of our Avari shadows, as I said. Uh, it's not too great. Have our archers target the Uruks, our mounted archers target the Uruks at least. We should be able to pretty much shred them. There's four units of us, so should be pretty all right. Maybe not. Oh no. Oh. Well, I guess I'd rather lose the crossbowman than the uh, elven archer cav. I know they can fire on the run, so hopefully they will fire at these guys rather than our, our own guys that are engaged over there. And now take them off of fire at will and move them into a line formation. Uh, looks like they are going to hit the flank of these guys, so going to move over my high paladins uh, I think as far as li the line battle goes we'll be okay so let's move the thorn uh, bladesman up a little farther have these guys stop shooting oh and we're killing our own general's unit yikes that was loud uh, the sorons will they are fighting our men at arms. It's a good thing we do have our <clears throat> our men at arms and our Abari guard over here fighting Sauron's will. I am going to move back my archer units, save them for the next uh, wave. Of troops that are coming. It looks like uh, we're gonna win this fight over here. So let's send in these guys and we'll send in the Thorn Bladesman and we're gonna move our archer, our mounted cavalry, mounted cavalry, <laughs> mounted archers up over here to take out or try and uh, thin out the next wave of bad guys that is coming our way. On, shoot these guys.
Uh, it looks like, let's have the Thorn guys take them out. And if we could have these guys try and thin out some of the Uruk Halberds, they're going to be one of the tougher units to crack. The Uruk units are pretty tough. Uh, let's go back here and check. It uh, looks like our Thorn Guard is really uh, taking some casualties. Um, they're down to 62. Want to take our Avari Guard off. Avari Shadows off of Fire at Will. Let's have our mounted uh, archers. Got it that time. Archers and crossbowmen try and focus down the trolls uh, since those trolls are going to be a tough unit to beat. And archers do do some pretty heavy damage to trolls since they can all focus them down and they're a large target. There we go. See, I already got one of them. Two. As long as we don't let them charge into us. Three. Come on, one more. Alright, got all of them. Alright, now let's have them move back. I would like them to t uh, try and focus down the Black Numenorians. But you can't always get what you want. We'll run them back here for now. And I'm not sure what. Let's move these guys into a longer line. Since I'm not sure what the enemy back there is going to do. Looks like the Thorn Bladesmen are doing alright. They should beat those Uruks. Now, let's move our crossbowmen and archers back up closer to the front line uh, for that next wave. And we're going to have our thorn cavalry uh, chase down what's left of these archers up here since they are kind of doing some damage. They're not doing a lot because these Avari Guard are pretty heavily armored. Oh no. We're losing a lot of guys back here. I didn't even see that. Okay, we killed the enemy general. That's good, uh, but that wasn't the Nazgul. Uh, that wasn't the hard general that it's going to be to kill. Uh, looks like our thorn guard are going to be uh, hung out to dry there. And let's have these guys focus down the Black Numenorians. If we can get a good shot off. I forgot about my thorn uh, cavalry. So, uh, it looks like these guys are pretty spent, so we need to move them back. And let's move up a fresh unit of Avari Guard onto this side. Can move that th unit of Thorn Guard over. Still having our crossbowmen try and focus down those black Numenorians, but I hope that they're not coming over here, uh, trying to come around the flank and to attack our, uh, our ranged units. Oh, don't want them to go into melee yet, so let's have them move back up. They have used all their ammo, uh, the crossbowmen not so much. It looks like we have really focused down uh, those 
uh, black Numenorians. So let's, they're in melee right now, so let's have our guys stop firing. And we need to get our general out of there. Uh, it looks like our flank is going to be compromised here. Have our mounted crossbowmen fire at those Uruks. Uh, we may need to pull back. Uh, looks like our thorn bladesmen are broken. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be flanked pretty heavily. So let's have our catapult fire. And then move our guys all back. Need to move back our thorn guard as well. Uh, we'll have one unit be a rear guard. Have them attack the halberds. Uh, their sacrifice will be remembered for the ages. Oh no. Oh my gosh, those black... No enemy cavalry, enemy AI cavalry is so annoying. Oh my gosh, and then I forgot about these guys. Everyone run away, run away. Run, don't get stuck in melee with Sauron's will, they will wreck you. Uh, let's see, I'd like crossbowmen to focus down Black Numenorians again. Uh, let's get the general out of there. Don't know what he's doing there. If we could kill the Nazgul with... Oh my gosh, get... Get out of there. Get out. Go. Go. Don't get stuck in melee. Sauron's will are terrifying. Oh my gosh. They're getting gonna get stuck in melee with uh, the black Numenorians. Oh no, oh no. Stop it, stop shooting. Uh, I hate how that happens. They just keep shooting and going after their own guys. Okay, I think our cavalry should be okay back here. Bladesman and the guard are broken. Uh, let's tell the catapult to stop firing. Gosh dang it. Go! Go! Don't get stuck in melee with halberds. You will get wrecked. There we go. Okay. How are our cavalry doing? Oh, they are out of mail. Or at least. What the? Where are you going? Stop it. Stop it. What are you doing? Silly geese. Can have them attack the uh, halberds. Maybe we can get a hammer and anvil charge from behind. Let's move our mounted crossbowmen back here. These thorn guards are gonna hammer and anvil the heck out of these Uruk Alberts. Oh my gosh, that was brutal. Yeah, no, they're done. That should take out them all. Now we need to 
to get another hammer and anvil strike, but on the Sauron's will over here. Uh, well, but it looks like they're wavering. So that's good. All right. We lost 701 guys, but to be honest, uh, it was pretty, <laughs> it was pretty one-sided. Uh, we took out a lot of their guys. Uh, I will take that, those losses. That's okay. And most of the guys that we lost were Thorn Bladesman and uh, Thorn Guard. All right, so great battle. We didn't get to uh, lay siege to the Black Gate yet, but this was a great, uh, great accomplishment. So, look, guys, if you haven't yet, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It encourages me to keep making these, and as always, have a great one.